if you're enjoying my vlogs hit the thumbs up because it lets me know that you like them and I will be sure to travel more if I get loads of thumbs ups on these vlogs. Right, it's day two. It's already like 12 midday. And it's pissing rain and really windy, so it's not ideal. But we're gonna try and make the most of it anyway. It's rainy, wet, and yucky. After much, much messing, we got the Berlin city tour card, which I think. Hopefully we'll get us to wherever we need to go for the next few days. He's just been serenading Ian and he doesn't appreciate it. Thread my he, left. He does everybody else. <laughs> he goes, throw a hat out and make a few pounds. <laughs> I'm feeling very hyper right now and you know what's gonna happen after it's I'm gonna hyper? be a crash. <laughs> it's vegan. I showed you the package, that'd be great. It's vegan. And we're both gonna try it on camera later. Do you have to cook it? I presume not. No, you eat it. Looks like disgusting. Yeah, it looks disgusting. I first thing we were going actually, we're going to the Stasi prison, which comes really highly recommended by TripAdvisor, and I like to use TripAdvisor for trips. <laughs> trips. So in we go. I don't know how much it is. I think it's something like six euros. <laughs> prisons when we go on holidays. Love it. Love it. I actually sort of love these runners. They're so comfy and they look kind of not as casual as other runners. Really like them when they were on sale. Lifestyle sports for I think 80 or 85 euro. Really like them. New Zealand. New Zealand. What? Far away. Well, back in the 50s, these five cells. It's under a strict isolation. So what you're going to see inside are single cells. So once the prisoner was in here, the person was kept in complete darkness. The ventilation window was closed from the rose garden, so the person here couldn't see anything. This room is also soundproofed. This is what is called sensory deprivation. Uh, the prisoner is not getting any stimulus. He must have been extremely claustrophobic. That's exactly why there is rubber here, so the person could not harm him or herself while being kept in the room. The prisoner was given food three times a day through the hat. Also, the guard here would provide the person with a bucket as a toilet several times a day through the hatch as well. The longest time that anyone was kept in one of these cells was 14 days. And the last official document that we have regarding the use of these rubber cells here is dated on 1989, before the war fell. So they used this method all the way. As I said before, like this was mostly used for hunger strikers. So you gave up food, then you would be taken here for however long required. If your behavior didn't change after being here, then you were taken immediately to the hospital and you were force fed. Yeah, no, I wouldn't like this. No, not a fan. We closed the early. <laughs> nice lino. Oh yeah, beautiful linoleums. Bottom. Touching my bottom. Cozy. It's not for a size bar hotel room. <laughs> Shouldn't be laughing, it's not funny. It's not funny actually, our hotel room is fucking tiny. Allowed to. Sit or lay in the bed during daytime, exercise, sing, whistle, talk to themselves out loud or knock on the walls. So what you could do during daytime if you were not eating or being interrogated was walking up and down the cell, uh, never there, that was forbidden, because they all can't see you, and, or sitting on the stool by the desk and smoking if you had cigarettes. They were called tiger cages by the prisoners because the only exercise allowed here was walking around in circles with your hands behind your back. And that was it. Um, here we've got four tiger cages. These ones belong to the That was really good. What, what do you think? Good. What do you think of that? Just good. Very far. Jessica, really good tour guide. Really recommend that. For the sake of six euro, really good. Um, we've been to Philadelphia's 
Eastern State Penitentiary. We went to San Francisco, uh, Alcatraz, but this has been by far the best. I am all. So yeah, I highly recommend this. I'll put all the details of it in the description box below. How to get here. Just a little bit off the track. And then um, the price of what it's actually called, because it's a really long name that I can't pronounce. So yeah, recommend it. I want Ian to tell me why he gets so embarrassed when I laugh out loud in public. Like, he's the one who's made me laugh, and I will laugh enthusiastically. Why do you get so embarrassed? I'm, I'm not embarrassed. I'm you conscious are. of you people. You walk away from me and act I'm as if... I'm conscious of people looking at me. <laughs> but you don't give a shit about them looking at me. But you also laugh, and your neck goes up in the air. It's like, ma. <laughs> Yeah, no, like, I have a hearty laugh. Well, people generally like that. Ian walks away from me and pretends like he has nothing to do with me. The Germans are quite reserved, I think, so. Many when men would it. love to have a girl that laughs like uh, me. Yeah, they don't want to take everything else that comes with it. Most of all, Ian has two pairs of these shorts, he swears. Now, I haven't seen the second pair, but he says he has two pairs. Fuck. Oh, look at these lovely legs. But anyway, look right boy's sticker. He looks like, he just looks funny with his sticker boy there. Scout. What? Like a boy scout. Or play school or something. Yeah. You little school bag. You're so mm -hmm. cute. You're so cute. My coat. At what point did you realise that? Well, when I thought the tram was leaking, I realised it wasn't a tram. <laughs> it was your bag. It wasn't my bag. It was the water in my bag. <laughs> Whose water? Laura's water. So it's my fault, is it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> was it running down your leg? <laughs> and this is what we're dealing with here. A very stressed out Dean. Yeah, I wish I could show you his face, but. He looks like you pissed yourself. <laughs> oh no, we've we done <laughs> Chicken mango coconut curry. Nice. And sorry, sorry. Some spicy tuna rolls. Spicy tuna rolls. This is my thing, which is tofu, uh, curry, vegetables, and this shit here. I don't eat salad. Jack, should nice. Sows. That's all we are. Sows. Guess <laughs> what we have found. So fucking happy right now. Yes, it's an ice cream cone. And yes, there's the word vegan. Oh, it's vegan. A marker. Hi. This is what I got. Chocolate, vanilla, and hazelnut. Let's do the taste test. This is the worst angle of all time. Fuck it. <laughs> Chocolate. It's very chocolatey. Vanilla is very good. Spoon is square. And the hazelnut. Oh, I see what she means. Yeah, it's not quite Nutella. Really good. This is where we are. Contour. So we've come to the end of day three in Berlin. That vegan ice cream was. Wonderful! What do you think of it? Yes, lovely. It was really nice. Might go back tomorrow and get more. Today was a good day. We managed to dodge the rain again, really, didn't we? We were really lucky actually between yesterday and today, so delighted with that. Gonna have my shower, gonna go to bed, and I'll talk to you in tomorrow's vlog.